have arrived for Monday, uh, April 28th, 8 o'clock, City Council. Please stand and salute the flag. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council Cruz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, our city clerk couldn't be here tonight. Uh, due to that, I'd like to make a motion to appoint Mark Gilday, clerk pro tem for the evening. Second. Motion's been made. Uh, properly second. All in favor of uh, having our legislative council passes. <coughs> thank you. Madam Clerk, uh, number one, please. We have the report of the Public Safety Committee for its meeting of April 22nd, 2014. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the Real Estate Committee for its meeting of April 22nd, 2014. That too is accepted and placed on file. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of April 22nd, 2014. Accepted and placed on file, Councilors. <clears throat> the communication from the Chairman of the Board of Assessors stating that the Assessor's Office has declared an overlay surplus for the following fiscal year, 2007, in the amount of $345,000. That also is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Interim Chief of Police requesting a transfer of $95,000 for additional patrols to be used for the months of April, May, and June of 2014. That too accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor requesting an appropriation in the amount of a transfer of $95,000 from overlay surplus <coughs> fiscal year 2007 to Police Department personal services overtime. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Assistant Ass Auditor certifying that the balance of the stabilization fund as of April 22, 2014 is $4,562,274.69. Accepted on place on file. Accepted and placed on file. Councilors, I am neglected to say our colleague, Councilor at Large, uh, Shana Barnes, had indicated unfortunately she had a Another commitment tonight. That's not why. That's why she's not in attendance this evening, Mr. Clerk. <clears throat> Communication from the mayor, in accordance with Mass General Laws, in order to finance the contract settlement with the Brockton Police Association, covering fiscal year 11, 12, and 13, recommending an appropriation from the stabilization fund in the amount of one million one hundred and twenty thousand dollars to police department personal services. In addition, in order to fund the proposed fiscal year 14 cost of a separate contract settlement for fiscal years 14, 15, and 16, an appropriation in the amount of $950,000 from the stabilization fund, $890,000 to police <coughs> department personal services other than overtime, and $60,000 to police department overtime. The parties to these contracts have agreed that both contracts must receive funding approval for the provisions of either contract to be effective. Accepted and placed on file. We have a communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, providing a conditional certification that the financial resources and revenues of the City of Brockton are adequate only through fiscal year 14 to support the proposed appropriation of $2,070,000 in order to fund the proposed contracts with the Brockton Police Association. The opinion of the CFO is that the financial resources of the City will not be adequate to fund the ongoing costs of these contracts beyond fiscal year 14 without a detrimental impact on continuous provision of the existing level of municipal services unless the city is to levy property taxes mm -hmm. incorporating the annual 2.5 percent increase in the levy limit and to raise water rates so that the water enterprise fund can reimburse the general fund for water expenses paid in the general fund except in a place on file councils <coughs> <clears throat> Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed appropriation of $304,632 from available <coughs> funds, Brockton's apportionment of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Winter Rabbit Rapid Recovery Road Program. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor in accordance with Massachusetts General Law recommending that the City Council approve the form of order which would authorize the purchase of the property at 60 Crescent Street for $500,000 and would authorize the borrowing of $500,000 to finance the purchase. This purchase will allow for the relocation of the Board of Health from rented space and provide added space and parking as well on City Hall Plaza. Accepted and placed on file. Mr. Clerk, we need to go back to number 12. 
11, excuse 11. me. From the mayor in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 44, recommending an appropriation of $304,632 from available funds, Brockton share of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Winter Rapid Recovery Road Program for fiscal year 2014 to the WRRRP project funds to provide funding for the purpose of <coughs> eligible project costs as described in the communication. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying that the purchase of the property at 60 Crescent Street and the financing of that pro process <coughs> is approved. This certification is contingent upon the relocation of the offices of the Board of Health from its current location on School Street to the 60 Crescent Street <coughs> location. Also accepted and placed on file. If the petition of Manley Street Holdings LLC for a garage license at 97 Manley Street in City Clerk's Office February 4th, <coughs> 2014, this hearing was assigned for March 24th. At the March 24th meeting, Council Ionieri motioned to continue the hearing to the first meeting in April. At the meeting of April 14, 2014, the matter was continued to this meeting. Council, this time having arrived, I declare the hearing open. Is there anyone here in favor? If so, please come forward and state your name to the clerk. Good evening, Mr. President, Councilors. Kevin Riley, uh, attorney from Randolph, Massachusetts, uh, here on behalf of the applicant. Attorney Riley, good evening. Good evening, sir. Councilor Neary. Thank you, if I might, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I've spoken to, to both the gentlemen in regards to this uh, particular license. Uh, uh, the business has been there for, for several years. It's really a name change to, to what has been there at 97 Manley Street. It's all a part of, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's all a part of the Nissan 24 um, to their operation there at that, uh, at that location. So I do not have a problem uh, with this license at all and, um, you know, move that it be favorably recommended. Second. On the motion, is there anyone else here in favor of this petition? If not, I'm going to declare that part of the hearing closed. Is there anyone here tonight in the chamber that's in opposition to this petition? Anyone here? If so, please come forward to state your name to the clerk. Seeing none, that here, part of the hearing also is, uh, is closed. Motion was made, Council Yanari, correct? Correct. To grant the petition. All in favor of granting the petition? All opposed? Petition's granted. Mr. Clerk, 16, please. Petition of K&S Auto Sales, Inc. for a motor vehicle repair mechanical body license located at 97 Manley Street in City Council in City Clerk's Office, February 4, 2014. The hearing was assigned for April 14, 2014, and was thereafter continued. So it is before the council this evening. Council, it's time having arrived. I'm going to declare the hearing open. If is there anyone here in favor? If so, please st uh, state your name to the clerk. Mr. President, once again, Kevin Riley here on behalf of the applicant. Council Yanieri. Thank you again, uh, Mr. President, but uh, I just did all the same remarks as I had for the previous one. I, have, I do not have a problem with this, uh, with this uh, license, and it's, it's changed. The business has been there for X amount of years, so I'm, I move for a favorable recommendation. Thank you, Councilor. Is there anyone else here in favor of this petition? If so, please come forward. Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition of this petition? Anyone here in opposition? If so, come forward. State your name to the clerk. Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed. Councilor, you made a motion. motion. Properly seconded by Councilor Staninsky to grant the petition. All in favor of that? All opposed? Petition is hereby granted. Thank, Thank you, Attorney Riley. Thank you, ladies Thank you, and gentlemen. <clears throat> petition of Carlos Lana for a license to suspend a sign at 567 North Main Street in City Council, April 14, 2014. Councilor, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Will the clerk please read the roll? Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Napoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Ionieri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Kudensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Affirmative. Petition is hereby adopted, councils. I'm 18, please. Order that the City Council hereby releases the restriction that plot 57-1 Ames Street is a non-buildable lot and further granting this restriction, removing this restriction conditioned upon the granting to the city of a deed restriction relative to this parcel and adjacent parcel that said parcels can only be further developed for single family homes and that the combined parcels cannot be divided more than three times. In City Council, March 10, 2014, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Real Estate and the Standing Committee on Real Estate has made a recommendation favorably with an amendment. 
Constance, the question before us right now is on the amendment. All in favor of the amendment, please stay. Uh, if so, please raise your hand. All opposed, the amendment carries. The question now becomes before us uh, on the adoption as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Denapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Denary? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? No. Zidensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Nine in the affirmative, one in the negative. Constance, the order is hereby adopted. Mr. President. Constance Leonary. If I might, could we take items 19 through 24 collectively as their new appointments? Second. Motion was made to take numbers 19 through 24 collectively as properly second. All in favor of that, please raise your hand. All opposed. Madam, uh, Mr. Clerk, 19 through 24 collectively, please. Each of these appointments were introduced at the City Council meeting of April 14, 2014 were read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and each of them have received a favorable recommendation. The appointment of Kenneth Galligan to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term ending March 2017. <clears throat> the appointment of Robert J. Palagi as an alternate to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term ending March 2017. The appointment of Peter Marciano as an alternate to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term ending March 2017. The appointment of Mark Norwood of 101 Summer Street West to the Brockton Conservation Commission for a three-year term ending April 2017. Appointment of Peter Sakanis to the Planning Board for a five-year term ending April 2019. And the appointment of Lisa Shea to the Brockton Cable Advisory Board for a three-year term ending March 2017. I know the Chief's here, but Madam Clerk, number 22, if you, it's a Scrivener's error, it should say Sumner with an N, Sumner Street West. Uh, if there's anyone here in the chamber uh, that's name has just been read, I know Chief Galligan's here. If anybody wants to come forward, uh, you know, we welcome that. None? Okay. Entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion was made properly second. Oh, no, actually, I'm sorry. It's a question that's on a confirmation. <laughs> Late night last That's night with right. my children. <laughs> Questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote, Mr. Clerk. Madam Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Napoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Aniri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Sudinsky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And any affirmative? The appointments are all hereby confirmed, numbers 19 through 24. I'm sorry to, to speak over Counselor. like that. I apologize. Um, at this time, I'd like to make a motion of reconsideration on number 18 in the hope that it does not prevail. Second. 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 Motion was made properly seconded for reconsideration in hopes it does not prevail uh, on agenda item number 18. All in favor of reconsideration, raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. Motion doesn't carry. Thank you. Reconsideration fails. We're on uh, 25. Do I entertain a motion to take anything collectively, counselors? I'd like to make a motion to take um, number, oh, number, no. No, no, 26 and 27, but we still have to do 25. Okay, so. 25, please, Mr. Clerk. The reappointment of Stephen Bernard to the Brockton Zoning Board of Appeals for a three-year term ending March 2017 in the City Council, April 14, 2014, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and you have received the favorable report. Question on the reappointment of confirmation is by a roll call vote, Mr. Clerk. Madam Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Gnapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Aniri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Tudensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And then the affirmative? Constance's reappointment is hereby confirmed. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to take number 26 and 27 collectively. Second. Second. Motion is made properly second to take items 26 through 27 collectively. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, motion carries. Madam Clerk, 26 through 27. These reappointments were introduced in the City Council on April 14, 2014, and read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and each of them have received a favorable recommendation. The reappointment of James Casseri to the position of Superintendent of Buildings for the City of Brockton for a three-year term ending April 2017. The reappointment of Martin S. Brophy to the position of treasurer, tax collector for the city of Brockton for a term of three years ending April 2017. Consuls, these uh, two reappointment questions uh, are on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapolis? Yes. yes. Dubois? Yes. Aniri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Sudinsky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. 
The uh, both reappointments are hereby confirmed. <coughs> Council. Mr. President, I move for reconsideration on items 26 and 27. Second. And does not prevail. Motion was made properly second for agenda items 26, 27. A motion for reconsideration. Hopes they do not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration, raise your hand. No, no. All opposed. <laughs> motion for reconsideration does not prevail. Transfer of $15,900 from the Finance Department Personal Services other than overtime to the Mayor's Personal Services other than overtime in order to fund a budgeting shortfall. This funding will allow the Mayor's Office to avoid any further staff furloughs subsequent to Friday, April 25, 2014. In the City Council introduced on April 14, 2014, read and referred to the Standing Committee of Finance, and you have heard the favorable recommendation. Causes, uh, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, if you could please read the roll. Aza? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapoli? Yes. Dubois? No. Maneri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? No. Eight in the affirmative. Two in the negative. Causes the transfer is hereby adopted. <coughs> transfer of $75,000 from overlay surplus fiscal year 2007 to Police Department personal services overtime for fiscal year 2014 for additional police patrols during this fiscal year. Introduced in the City Council on April 14, 2014. Read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and you have heard the favorable report. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Azak? <coughs> yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Maneri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And in the affirmative? Transfers hereby adopted. We have the appropriation of $228,510.50 from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Health and Human Services Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant to the Office of the Mayor Safe and Successful Youth Initiative Grant. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Aza? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Appropriation to say by adopted. The appropriation of $38,691, $30,000 of which from parking meter reserve fees and $8,691 from parking authority part-time to parking authority snow removal in order to cover a budget shortfall in the fiscal year 2014, plowing, sanding, and removal of snow for the parking authority. Council, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Hazak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Sedensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Council's appropriations adopted. Resolved that the mayor, the library director, the chairman of the board of library <clears throat> trustees, the superintendent of buildings, <clears throat> and the chairman of the library foundation be invited to appear before a committee of this council to provide information on planned improvements to the West Branch yes. Library. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Azak? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Annapolis? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Neri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Studensky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Causes the resolve is adopted. Resolved that the mayor, the chief financial officer, the DPW commissioner, and Mr. George Woodbury, a representative from Solux Consulting, come before the Finance Committee to discuss the potential of streetlights conversion to LED lighting and other technological upgrades associated with operating cost reductions and benefits to the city. In the City Council, April 14, 2014, read and referred to the Standing Committee on Finance, and you have heard the favorable recommendation. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, please read the roll. Yes. Cruz? Yes. Sinapoli? Yes. Dubois? Yes. Aneri? Yes. Monaghan? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Stewart? Yes. Stavansky? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. And in the affirmative? Resolve is hereby adopted. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 Zoning, Section 27-24.3 humanitarian medical use of marijuana. That is referred to ordinance <coughs> and planning. Transfer of $95,000 from overlay surplus fiscal year 2007 to police department personal services overtime in order to fund a budget shortfall. 
That is referred to Finance Committee. Appropriation totaling $2,070,000, $1,120,000 of which is from the Stabilization Fund to the Police Department Personal Services in order to fund the contract settlement with the Brockton Police Association covering fiscal years 11, 12, and 13 and $950,000 from the Stabilization Fund, $890,000 going to the Police Department Personal Services other than overtime, and $60,000 going to Police Department Overtime in order to fund the proposed fiscal year 14 costs of a separate contract settlement for the period of fiscal year 14, 15, and 16. That is referred to Finance Committee. An appropriation of $304,632 from available funds, Brockton Share of Commonwealth of Massachusetts Winter Rapid Recovery Road Program to WRRRP project funds in order to provide funding for the purpose of eligible project costs. Refer to finance. Ordered that the mayor be and is hereby authorized to purchase on behalf of the city the property located at 60 Crescent Street for the price of $500,000 and further ordered that the mayor is authorized to execute and deliver a purchase and sale agreement and any other documents that may be necessary to carry out the purposes of this order. That is referred to Finance Committee. Ordered that $500,000 is appropriated to pay the costs of purchasing the former Crescent Credit Union building located at 60 <coughs> Crescent Street and for the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto, and that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Chapter 44 of the Massachusetts General Laws, Section 7, Subsection 3, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, <coughs> and to issue bonds or notes of the city, therefore. Refer to finance councils. Resolved that the police chief, Robert Hayden, be invited to appear before the Finance Com Committee to discuss and provide an update on his first 60-day emergency <coughs> appointment as chief of the Brockton Police Department, any changes to officer assignments and structure he has already made in his plans for his second 60-day emergency appointment. For the Finance Committee. Resolved that the police chief Robert Hayden be invited to appear before the Finance Committee to discuss any and all limitations placed on his ability to work more than 960 hours per year pursuant to the provisions of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 32, Section 91, Subsection B and Subsection C. Refer to Finance Committee. <coughs> that the Brockton Department of Public Works is authorized to issue a single family home sewer connection to DEC Realty Trust for the lot of land located at 0 Aim Street, Map Route 164242, Plot 51. Refer to Finance Committee. Resolved that Bay State Animal Cooperative and a representative of the Brockton Animal Control be invited to appear before the May 5, 2014 Finance Committee to discuss the epidemic of stray and homeless cats in Brockton the effects on the citizens and animals, and how we might be able to better tackle this program as a community. That is referred to Finance Committee. Ordered that the City Solicitor's Office will provide an update to members of the City Council in executive session on any and all pending litigation on a quarterly basis beginning in May of 2014 and continuing every four months thereafter. That is referred to Finance Committee. Mr. President. Council Dubois. At this time, I would like to make a motion to take from the table the ordinance that would ensure Brockton, a city of 100,000 people, have a full-time chief of police. That was tabled um, the last city council meeting. Motions. That's a motion. To yep. Can motion. I have a second? Doesn't prevail. It wasn't a second to the motion, Council. Anything else before us tonight? 
Anybody have any ward meetings come up or anything? Council Yaneri. Mr. President, if I might, I just want to announce that there'll be an ordinance meeting next Monday evening here in the council chambers at 6 p.m. That's an ordinance meeting next Monday evening at 6 p.m. here in the chambers. Thank, Thank you, you Council. Council Dubois. Can I have a moment of personal privilege? Absolutely, Council. I'm having a Ward 6 community meeting on Wednesday, April 30th. It will occur at the Brookfield School at 6.30. And the topic will be um, Ward 6 streets, the uh, problem with their potholes, infrastructure issues, and water pipe problems. So that's Brookfield School this Wednesday at 6.30. Everyone's welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor, uh, Councilors, Councilor Barnes uh, asked, sorry, Councilor Monahan, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Councilor Barnes asked that I announce uh, that the uh, production of The Wizard of Oz is going to be conducted uh, in the city of Brockton May 2 through the 11th, Massasoit Community College. Uh, box office hours are Tuesday through Friday at the school. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Telephone number is 508-427-1234. 508-427-1234. It's supposed to be a fantastic production. As uh, Councilor Bond said, it's Broadway and Brockton. So uh, if, if you have the ability and the means to go, please do. Councilor Monahan. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, <clears throat> this Saturday, uh, May 3rd, from 6 to 10, I will be uh, hosting a fundraiser. Uh, for uh, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, my daughter-in-law's brother, who I don't know if you've heard about a month and a half ago was in Fort Lauderdale, was abducted out of his uh, hotel room only after being there two hours, uh, taken for a ride, and thrown out of a moving vehicle, and suffered uh, a severe brain injury, head injury, obviously. Uh, he just got home. He's going rehab right now. But the bills have piled up. He's been out of work now for a month and a half, two months, and the medical bills are also piling up. So we're going to have a sports memorabilia auction. Uh, hopefully, the, he's from Everett, but the mayor from Everett, and I think Mayor Coppin will be the auctioneers. So that's this Saturday, 6 to 10, at um, Joe Angelo's. And on a lighter note, uh, I won't be here next week. I'll be on vacation. I'll be suff suffering, <laughs> celebrating. <laughs> My uh, 35th wedding anniversary, and my wife will be celebrating her 35th year in purgatory. But uh, I'd like to know what she did to deserve that. But anyway, thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> She'll be suffering. <laughs> She'll be suffering. Cons uh, Councilor Stadensky, followed by Councilor uh, Councilor Isaac. More with a personal. Sure, question. Councilor Stadensky. I always make a joke and say I'm an only child, but I'm not. I have an Irish twin, and today is his birthday. So check, better known as Charles. He's a commissioner at the, at the park. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday to your brother. Councilor, Isaac. I, I would like to make a motion to accept a late file. A uh, motion to accept a late Second. file. Second. Motion's made properly seconded. All in favor of the late file, raise your hand. If you're opposed, carries. Resolved, be it resolved that Brockton's first ever Bike to Work Day will be held during the third week of May, May 16th, which is also National Bicycle Week. Uh, so that's going to be referred to Finance Committee. Anything else before us tonight? Seeing none, meeting is hereby adjourned. Yeah.